morning everyone it is Friday um, you'll see the sun Saturday but we are headed well I dropped the kids off and I'm headed to school I have a half day today because we have Delilah's big um, appointment so um, we meet with neurology and then she has a hearing screen so um, I'm a little nervous just fingers crossed that it goes well um, with the Guillain-Barre if you're not familiar um, in most cases all of the things that um, the disease took away um, eventually come back like her ability to swallow and um, you know if, you, if you're new here um, my daughter was one when this happened and she was able to walk before this happened but she um, couldn't sit up hold her head up she couldn't walk couldn't crawl nothing so all of that came back um, her ability to eat swallow um, she was on a ventilator so I when she cries now sometimes she like won't breathe and I guess it's part of being on the ventilator like they skip a, a I'm not sure like they skip a breath I I don't know it's so so much like medical jargon and whenever you talk to someone like they're they're specialists in their field so and I'm a specialist in my field so I get it if I talk someone's ear off about art education or art history that is unfamiliar with it um they you know they might get a little lost so I try and write everything down I don't have my notebook with me and I can't read it while I'm driving but um it's very complicated uh so I'm gonna I can't bring another sibling and you can't bring another parent so my husband has off today but he's gonna come get wilder and then I'm gonna take Delilah to the appointment um, but I need to return some things to Walmart I don't know if you remember a few weeks back I got that crazy messed up Walmart order from um, another Walmart so I'm gonna take back all those things but I thought it was really interesting I don't know if anyone works for Walmart here that follows me but like I got nails and they were damaged the impressed nails and I just checked a box that said they were damaged and I was just gonna bring them back to the store but they were like no worries it's on us you can keep them and like only five of the nails were damaged but um the paint <laughs> this is going into another thing but the pinky nail is the smallest one and I need that one um because the other ones don't fit my pinky nail and then um they just pop off because they're too big so <laughs> long story short I I needed to take it back I was just going to exchange them or whatever but they you know I just checked it on the app and they didn't even check it or anything and I just I don't know I feel weird about that so I have a bunch of stuff that I have to take back like they gave me um, Delilah shoes in a women's size 5 um, and I needed the infant size 5 so I, I don't know so just little things like that so I'm gonna take them back and I'm gonna go to the grocery store and just pick up a few I just need like random things like a tomato and then we need grass-fed butter for the kids I use grass-fed butter um, just because it's better for them I don't eat butter obviously oh it's bright it's so bright this happens to me every time I turn in I don't know why I don't learn my lesson I've been teaching here for a long time um, but yeah so have to get grass-fed butter um, some milk we do organic milk and um, you're gonna laugh at me and a lot of people in Colorado when they like are trying to call someone like I don't know a hippie that's what people think I am I'm far from it but um they'll say crunchy so you may find this to be crunchy but um I've recently learned that my current crock pot has um lead in it I did a lead test you can just pick them up at Walmart I think um I got mine online but um you know it has a there's a lead test in it and I can't get I, I'm not comfortable getting a new little ceramic container because um, I'm afraid they'll have lead in it so I'm looking for crack pots without lead in it and everyone's gonna say do an instant pot I'm just not I don't have the and I don't have the mental capacity to do an instant pot because um, they make me nervous I don't want them to blow up so <laughs> I'm not gonna do an instant pot but the crock pot um, that I, well, I'm talking to you, Susie, um, the, the crock pot that I sent you, that doesn't have lead in it. So let me know if that works down below, but I, I don't know. 
I'm a little nervous because now I'm down a rabbit hole of kitchen appliances that um, may be harmful to us. I know the typical ones like nonstick and all that um, aren't good for you, but um, I don't know. Now I'm down a rabbit hole. So I'm trying to like slowly replace everything. So moral of the story, I'm going to go to the thrift store and see if they have this. It's like a clay pot. I forget what it's called, but I do have something in my eye and it's driving me freaking nuts. Um, but yeah, it's a clay pot. Um, people are starting to come in, so I'm gonna say. All right, I have one of the kids dropped off the other one. I stopped at Jimmy John's and got a sub. I just get the number six with no cheese and extra veggies, and I add pickles to it. It's really, really good, and this will last me for today and tomorrow, which is really nice because it's a little pricey, but it's so worth it. I love Jimmy John's. So, so good. We have made it to Children's Hospital. Delilah's taking a little bit of a nap, but we are going to Go into the appointment. I um, got a sandwich here from Jimmy John's, and I, I did forget to say um, order it with no mayo too, and you're good to go. And then um, the bread is all good. You, um, the people just what did they say? Oh, they get the bread from a place that processes other breads with egg, so there's no egg in it or anything. I know that's a big rumor about Jimmy John's, and the company itself, the owner. It's a little iffy, but this is what's uh, around us right now, and they had a vegan option, so that is helpful. We are going to head into this appointment. Wish us luck. I, of course, am nervous and jittery. Um, she's going to do just fine. She really is. Um, I just, you know how I feel about hospitals, so I think she is going to pass this test, and I think our meeting is going to go well. I, like I said in the morning, just have everything written down, like all these documentations, and then I um, asked her teacher, you know, is she, she have any concerns that we need to talk about? And it was a no. So I think she's going to do just fine. Um, how many times can I say that? Right. Uh, after this, we're going to head down. I'll fill you in on the appointment, I'm sure, but we're going to head back home, have a nice little family Friday. I have some things going on for the new apparel I'm really excited about. I'll probably share like just different um, glimpses of it until we finally get the site up and running, but just have so many ideas in my head and I wanna get it just right. So yeah, I hope you don't mind that I share that and um, that's it. I think we're, she's waking up now. So we're gonna head into the appointment and we will see you later. Wide awake is the way that you left me Sat beside in your car in the back seat Wide awake is the way that you left me, oh Now it's clear we are here back at your house And I keep fading into the background I'm wide awake, now you keep missing out for sure Take down your walls and let me ooh, ooh, ooh Yeah, break by break everyone I have snuck up here to do some yoga and kind of relax with my coffee but I wanted to fill you in it is the next morning and we um, got back from our appointment last night um, you know there was a lot to talk about a lot of people to meet with and um, you know they said everything was on track but there was just a minor setback of her growth and that's always just been a topic of interest and um, I've always been I don't know, an advocate. I guess I like push back at them a lot when it comes to her growth. It could be 
you know, my mama pride saying like, she's just fine. But um, we talked it over and, you know, there's not much that we can do. There's certain formulas and foods that she can eat. But for us, she eats, she's, um, I hate to use the word regular or normal, but she's a regular baby. Uh, so, you know, that was kind of reassuring to have one neurologist on my side, because that's never the case. And it was a female, which I mean, no offense if you're a male neurologist and you follow me, but the bedside manner is just not there. And I don't expect to be coddled in these appointments, but I just expect, um, I guess a mutual respect. The neurologist that we had yesterday, she treats me like a human being and um, she, doesn't, she doesn't dumb it down, but she can talk to me and tell me about these things about Delilah's future without making me feel like I can't keep up, if that makes sense. So I had everything written down and we went through the plan and she, she'll still see a neurologist two times a year until she's 18, um, probably this one, but I, um, I don't know, there's like a whole, there's a whole thing that comes with this guillain Bray, and I asked her, um, is this something that I report, like to her school, for instance, when she starts kindergarten, is it Delilah has guillain Bray, or is it she had it and then it leaves? Like that's the confusion in the neurology field about this because it is an autoimmune issue, her body attacked itself. So it's just really confusing. And then always the the topic that takes the longest is what caused this? and um could have been a viral infection or it could have been a vaccine and um and those are the two things you know we we don't know she didn't test positive for any viral infections and the vaccine portion of it wouldn't have lined up the dates wouldn't have lined up so it's just like a mystery it really is um and of course they always bring in the um, current state of affairs and if that could have affected it and everything and it's just a jumble but um, we got back from the appointment and I just wanted to soak her all up because I, I hate seeing her in there like with all these doctors poking at her and she's getting sassy she definitely um, she smacked some of the doctors and she bit one so she just um, you know, I think she's sick of it and she doesn't want to be near them anymore. And I, I mean, I get that. So it was nice to, you know, have me there for comfort. Uh, sometimes, you know, these tests, like I can't be there and she loses her mind. So it's nice now that we have that. But um, yeah, I wanted to fill you in on what was going on. Um, we still have a hearing screen and then another neuro appointment and then um, another or we, we don't have a swallow study, but we meet with like nutrition and dietitians and things like that. Of course, when everyone hears I'm vegan, they're like, oh, well, are you doing this, this, and this? I'm like, don't worry, my kids aren't vegan. Um, Cause there, there seems to be a worry whenever that happens. Um, I'm just not educated enough to um, have my kids be vegan with me. If they choose to do that, then I will see a doctor and see what we can do to make that um, become their reality, if that makes sense. But right now they eat the standard American diet because I, I guess I know it. I guess I know what's healthy and what's not. And as we know, that is like my number one goal. Um, so like the back thing to all of this is just like, I, <laughs> I don't know, it makes you sit here and think and then you get down a rabbit hole of what's in my food and what's in my cleaners and every single aspect that touches your body i i sit here and i'm like Ooh, what's in it i need to know what's in it i need to know the ingredient and then you google that ingredient and what it can cause and it's just you know and guillain Beret does pop up so i think it's a whole thing but I as you can tell did not sleep that much and um when I have anxiety like this before the appointments I pick out all my eyelashes I, I don't know if you anyone else does that or I scratch at my fingernails or I peeled mine off um so yeah I'm gonna try and get myself together here and we're gonna do a little morning meal prep just to kind of end the video and then on Sunday I was thinking of doing a like meals of the day um, or like what we eat in a day because I always think that those are interesting but I wanted to get the meal prep out on Saturday so you can go get the ingredients and then prep on Sunday because that's typically when people prep but I just wanted to thank you for being here um, thank you for hearing out the update and um, 
yeah, we're busy. It's, um, it's a crazy time. There's a lot going on. And I know a lot of people can say that for themselves, but it's really hard for me to find time for myself. So even just some stretches and coffee is the way to go. I, I thank this community every single day because we are small but mighty, I, um, I always say. So I'm going to try and get myself put together, stretch it out a little bit, and then we're going to head downstairs and I'll show you what we're meal prepping. It's pretty basic and it's really, really adaptable. Like you can put meat with this, you could put dairy, but um, we have a few things on the menu. So we are going to head downstairs and I'll show you what we're doing. Wow, good job. Hey, can you say yellow? <laughs> Look at your pigtails. Those are sweet. They're very nice. I like them. A hat. Mommy's wearing a hat. That's right. Here is what I have laid out for the meal prep. Coffee is a must, so that's staying in the shot. <laughs> um, but we have a bunch of vegetables. I'm just gonna roast those so I can put them into things. We have um, just different dishes that they can go into. And then we have some basil pesto and zucchini. I'm gonna make zoodle pesto with some tofu in here. And then I'm gonna make stuffed little mini bell peppers with some garbanzo beans the Kite Hill spreadable cheese, just the rest of it there, and then some wing sauce. I don't I don't know if I'll use that, I'm not sure yet, but then you put it into the pepper and it's really, really good. Um, but the veggies can go with the pesto or we have quinoa in there. I already cooked that. I didn't think that you needed to see it because I cook quinoa all the time. And then I have greens in there for salads and such. So this is just for like lunches this week. Um, and I have my helper coming in here. Hello, Wilder. Can you say hi? It's a zucchini. I like it. Okay. Oh, <laughs> okay. So yeah, we are going to get all that together and I'll show you how we go through. So I usually start off every meal prep by cutting the vegetables and anything that needs to be cut. And then I'll try and utilize different things in the kitchen. Like I'm going to roast the vegetables and then I'm going to um, pan fry the noodles and then just use some counter space as well just so everything can get done in like an efficient time way. So I'm going to cut these up and um, roast them with some avocado oil, salt, pepper, garlic, onion powder at 350 for around 20-25 minutes. the stuffed peppers so I'm gonna I have the rinsed chickpeas here and then I'm gonna smash them and half of it will go to the stuffed peppers and the other half I'm gonna make some chickpea curry salad with you could also do this in a food processor
make the chickpea curry salad. So I have about a fourth of an apple, just because that's, you know, how many chickpeas I have. I have green onions in there, the smashed chickpeas. I have some hemp seeds going in. I have a little bit of my vegan mayo that I like to make. And then about a teaspoon of curry powder, depending how you like your spice. And I will also put some salt and pepper in here and call it good to go. This will be really good with lettuce good wraps. To go? Good to go. Um, toast. You could put it over a salad if you wanted. You could even put it into like um, a rice dish, like warm it up, and that's really good too. But it's super versatile. I really love making it. The kids love it on crackers. Did I say you can make a sandwich? You could make a sandwich out of it. But, so it's really beautiful, like yellow ochre hey. color. Hey. I, got, I like food to eat. You like food to eat? Me too. Um, and then we will be using the second half of that chickpea salad for the stuffed peppers. So that can go either way as well. You could use that on a sandwich. You could use it on toast, heat it up, and do it with some crackers or something, but I find them to be really tasty with those little sweet peppers. Really, really good, and if you're trying to be low carb, I know I have a lot of you in the crowd that are doing that. Um, my dad is also low carb, so I'm always trying to find recipes for him and to send him over. You know he loves to cook, so these are good ones to have. You could absolutely use chicken in here if you wanted, and you could use cream cheese in the upcoming recipe instead of vegan cheese, but again, very good flavors happening. So here are the peppers. They're rinsed. Um, now you just take the stuffing and put it in there. Nice little snack to have. If you're eating this with dairy or even non-dairy, you could top this um, with your favorite cheese. Um, don't really have any shredded cheese that's the best when it comes to vegan substitutes to be honest with you um i don't like via life i know a lot of people like via life um they're so delicious if you put it uh with like enchiladas and melt it on top that's a good one i like vivon cheese but you can't find that many places um you also can freeze the Miyoko's mozzarella ball and shred that on pizza. That's actually pretty good, but a lot of those have some things in it that I'm just like not a fan of. Like I said, the Kite Hill has minimal ingredients. There's not um, much oil in it, so I really enjoy Kite Hill. I know a lot of you have found it in the grocery stores. And some of you have said you don't like it. Well, unfortunately, that is the closest substitute I have found to like a soft cheese. I wouldn't say I was a soft cheese connoisseur, so maybe my palate is off, but I'm just going to stuff these and bake them at 350 until the peppers get tender, so maybe maybe 25-30 minutes and then you're good to go. These are really great to just pop in to snack on. You can eat them cold if you want. I'm going to save the rest and put it on some toast. I'm gonna marinate some tofu now, so I'm just gonna do them in little chunks here and do liquid smoke, liquid aminos, a little bit of maple syrup and salt and pepper, a little bit of garlic and maybe some sriracha, but it depends what kind of flavors you want. This will be great to put, what's up girl? Okay, to put on top of rice and the quinoa dishes, even salads are good or with some vegetables but easy to grab and go if you're a meat eater you can do chicken instead So I'm gonna spray it with some avocado oil and then I'm going to bake it in this dish at 350 for around 20, 25 minutes. All right, everything is out and put into their containers for the week. It looks pretty small, but this will get me through multiple lunches with different kinds of lunches. So like I said, I have a base of white rice 
and I have some quinoa and then I can add some of these to either one. Um, sometimes I do pasta, but this will be just fine. Sorry, I wasn't up there, was I? Um, I can always take a thing of fruit and then I can always take a salad, which I will be doing. And I just use balsamic vinegar on the salads. But over here are the pesto zoodles. These are really great on top of rice or some extra pasta or on their own. And then I have the tofu here. This can be put on some this can be put on sandwich bread or on top of the pesto or even on top of veggies or eat it alone. Those are really good. And then over here, I have some rambunctious kiddos, um, but I do have the stuffed bell peppers. These are nice to just have on the side, so I'll probably take like two or three a day. Over here, I have my chickpea salad. I really love this. It's super delicious with the curry powder in it. You could put different types of powder. You could put like a taco spice or a Old Bay, or you could even put barbecue seasoning in it, but anything in here is really good. I love the curry. And then I have, <laughs> and then I have the roasted vegetables and that can go on top of the quinoa. And then I encourage you to get some sauces so you could put marinara on top of these or a curry simmer sauce, taco sauce, a crema, something to put on here to add more flavor. But I'm gonna get this going and we are going to start wrapping up the kitchen here. Here's the aftermath of trying to clean as you go with two toddlers, painting a door, all of the things happening. As you can see, this kitchen will never be perfect, but I'm gonna try and give you some tips to keep it semi-organized here. All right, my friends, that's gonna do it for today's vlog. I will see you tomorrow with a new one, the meals of the day. We have such a busy day ahead of us, so I'll probably film that too, and you can see another day in the life. I know a lot of you like that. I really enjoy those. Those are probably my favorite type of YouTube video to watch, but I hope you got some inspiration to cook some healthy meals for your families. I hope you could see um, that, you know, your kitchen doesn't have to be perfect. Um, as long as you have like a, a little amount of sanity, it will, it will keep you going throughout the week. Um, like I said, we have so much going on here, but I really appreciate this community more than you know. Um, I was going to go put myself together, but Honestly, I'm just gonna let it ride today because we have so much to do. So thank you so much for sticking around. I know there were a lot of toddler screams, but that's what life is like, right? All right, I will see you tomorrow for another one. As always, stay adventurous, stay creative. Bye everyone.